Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for from now until the 15th of October. So what's today? The 7th. So from the 7th to the 15th of October. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see what comes up. This reading is for somebody. I don't know who. You know, it won't be for everybody. It'll be for somebody. All right. Let's see who this reading is for. Hmm. Oh. Well, there's a new opportunity here. There is a new opportunity, Taurus. You know, the sun, even in reverse, is a very happy card. Something may be delayed. Your happiness may be delayed. Maybe because you were still holding on to something. But that's a release. So that is a release. So it looks like you guys have released or you are releasing right now. And now you have this fresh new start, which is fantastic. And then with the Ten of Pentacles right there, it's like you're receiving. I mean, I see this as the Ace of Pentacles. as This is a golden opportunity. That's what I see this as. You are receiving a stable, solid opportunity. Well, thank you, Lord. Um, yeah, it's because you guys are grateful. You are. I mean, I just, it's funny. I, you saw me shuffle these cards. Um, it's like, you're happy. You know, you've, you've, you're, the storm is over for you, and you realize that. So, nines are about closure. You have both these nines right here. It's like one door. I think you've let a door close, and now you're feeling quite abundant with who you are. I, that's how it is, right? I mean, you have it all, so why? Why would you need to hold on to something? Yeah, it's like, I just want to be happy now. And I've let go of this hurt. Thank you, Lord. You guys have. It's like you have, it's no more questions, right? I'm not worried about it anymore. I'm really seriously not. I think your broken heart has mended quite a bit. And because it has... You know, I think that you, because you guys have let go of some sorrow, you've let go of the regrets and the guilt. You have. You have. Because you guys have released, your abundance is coming back like full throttle. There's a lot of, uh, really, it's like your hard work has truly, truly paid off. Your, your your ability to allow yourself to heal and to work on yourself has really, really, really paid off. You put in a lot of effort, didn't you? It was delayed. Your abundance has been delayed. Your happiness has been delayed because you were still hanging on by a thread. But I think with this, the thread has been, you cut, you cut the thread. You cut, you took your sword, you cut the thread. Because you're ready, you're ready to be happy and have your new beginning. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Time for me to fly, baby. Yeah. I'm getting the chills. So, um, yeah. You've avoided a much bigger disaster. You have. You've avoided a bigger disaster by accepting and feeling grateful for the lesson that was learned. It's like, yeah. I know you have avoided a much bigger disaster. Um... Oh, my goodness. We have the devil on the bottom of the deck, which would represent Capricorn. Imagine that. Um, so, the overall, the overall outcome of this reading is the Five of Swords reversed. I feel as though 
you're at the point where you don't you don't even want to fight. I don't want to prove myself. I don't need to prove myself. I don't need to stay here. I'm so good where I'm at. I'm ready for my happiness. I'm happy where I'm at. It's like you guys have, the storm is over. That's what I see, Taurus. The storm is over. I think that it's, it's absolutely, your happiness has been delayed because you held on for, for too long. I think you held on to a false foundation, something that was unreal. You know, it wasn't stable. It wasn't concrete. It was rocky. You know, you held on to it for a very long time. And I think that you come to this point of closure. You know, you decide to close it because your happiness was being delayed. And I feel like, you know, you may have lost your direction for quite some time. Um, you may have went through a period of repression. But I think that you have gotten to a point of... It could be even self-love if you come to this point where you're ready to open your heart again because you've allowed yourself time to heal. Now, with this devil on the on the bottom of the deck, you could be, you know, tempted to to uh, do something. There's temptation here. There's definitely some temptation, or you could you could um, be dealing with a Capricorn or, you know, there's a lot of, there's a magnetic attraction here that is undeniable. I'm not sure what this is, but we're definitely going to clarify this card. Um, there is some sort of message coming in that is a message of love and you may feel like, um, you know, there's a message of love. It's welcome. There's a welcome message of love. Perhaps somebody wants to start something with you. And maybe you don't feel like you're ready to move forward. I'm not sure. This chariot reversed is like a lack of forward movement. It's delayed, but there's messages. So I think, Taurus, you are receiving some sort of... Emotional or love or text messages or something from... Or Facebook messages or something like that from somebody that is attracted to you perhaps I'm not sure what this is we're gonna leave this card right here because I just need to anyway um, let's see what the hell this is from now until the 15th there's there's I'm good I'm really really good where I'm at I'm no longer holding on to anything I've let go I've released and it looks like your happiness, your, something is delayed here. Your abundance is delayed. This, this golden opportunity is delayed. You're indecisive. You're indecisive. It's like you're. I think you're overly critical of yourself. You're afraid of being criticized. What the hell? You're not, you know, here's happy abundance right here where you're grateful and you're good. But then we got these two cards where... There's lack of confidence, lack of self-confidence. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you guys are still harboring some sort of resentment. Oh my God. Now, this could also be a person in your life that is criticizing you, criticizing your... abundance you know trying to bring you down they see that you're doing so well you could be dealing with another person that sees that you are doing so well and they're trying to bring you down so just they're trying the towels underneath this woman you could be dealing with another woman for some of you that is jealous of you is trying is criticizing you is trying to bring you down just keep that in mind somebody doesn't want you to be successful yeah. I don't know who that message is for, but beware. I think that you have somebody amidst that doesn't want you to be successful. 
They don't want you to be happy. They see that you're happy and they don't want you to be happy. So keep that in mind. You have a you have a saboteur, whether it's at work or at home or could be anywhere. You have somebody that doesn't want you to be happy. So beware. But it's time you need to take action. Act now, think later. This is a Somebody is doing something. Ooh. Yeah, somebody is jealous as hell. Somebody doesn't want you to prosper. So Taurus, you have somebody that is is trying to put out your fire. Okay, they are. They are. It's like you you are. You you, you do. You have somebody that's trying to put out your fire this week. They see that you are very passionate. They see that you are lit up. They see that you are abundant. They see that you are doing well and they don't like it. So keep that in mind. Somebody is trying to to um no, to to bring you backwards, okay? They they are. They are. We have the tower, we have the chariot. You're dealing with you have an individual that is is um not happy with you. So I'm sorry to tell you that. They don't Now let's clarify this over here. You've done a lot of healing work. You've done a lot of um There's a lot of self-love here. You've stepped outside of your pride. It's like you've swallowed your pride. You just want to be happy. You're ready for this new start. You're... You're ready for this new start, but you're dealing with another person who doesn't want you to. Oh, my God. Who is this person? Some, you're dealing with somebody who is hiding they're in hiding they're hiding how they truly feel they want to go back for what they left there's a lot of deception here somebody is a liar somebody is very sneaky somebody is sneaking around behind the scenes they see that you're doing well They see that you've walked away, because it's five of swords reversed. They see that you've completely walked away. You've released. You have released. You have. You're done. You're done. I can see that too. And they see that you're happy. And they're like, oh, but I'm not done yet. I got to bring this person down. I do. I do. I'm going to bring her or him down. I don't want them to... find their strength they want to keep you they want to keep you weak whoever you're dealing with is weak and cowardly they're a coward and they don't want you to shine oh jeez some girl this makes me sick oh so this could be a family member this could be a past lover i you know i'm not sure who this is but you are dealing with somebody a saboteur you're dealing with a saboteur who isn't done with you yet. And I'm sorry to tell you that. They're not ready to, even though they see that you don't want to fight, they still want to fight. Yeah, bring you backwards. Somebody's trying to bring you backwards. Son of a bitch. <sighs> bad luck. It is bad luck, isn't it? You know, what goes around comes around, right? So rest assured, they may they may be able to delay your happiness for a little bit with their stupidity, you know, their stupid actions, but karma is truly a bitch, and what goes around does come around. So I feel like you're, now we got five swords here. These other two are covered. You're dealing with somebody who has a really big ego. Okay, this person has a lot of pride. They have a lot of ego, and they see that you have moved on and you have released and they don't want that to happen so they're trying to bring you backwards somebody may be trying to halt your progress halt your security your stability they you know they're trying to stop you from getting that golden opportunity they see that you are you're ready yes oh my god so you know i <laughs> 
somebody doesn't want you to be in a partnership. They don't want you to work with anybody else. They don't want to work with you, but they don't want you to work with anybody else either. Yep, you're dealing with somebody that is causing you problems in the relationship department. You you know, it's like they don't want you to be in a relationship. So, um, maybe it's you. Uh, midlife crisis. Somebody's going through a midlife crisis. And I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. I think it's whoever you're dealing with. Could be a family member. Whoever it is, is or it could be a, an ex or a partner or somebody. It feels as though somebody is feeling rejected. They're feeling lonely. They're feeling like they're not getting what they want out of you. And so they're going to take some sort of action to to halt your progress. So beware. Somebody is trying to stop you from being happy. So you, my message to you is to be strong. Do not let them steal your power because that's what this is. And this is a true test, okay? This is what the universe will do. When you get to this point of nine of pentacles where you're grateful and you're happy and you're doing really, really good, you've taken action to change your life, you've released, you know, you've released, you're ready to fly, you, you've regained some faith, you're ready to take some new risks, the universe will throw you that curveball. And here's that curveball. It's like this is the time of curveball for you about... You know, how are you going to handle this situation? How are you going to handle it? You're dealing with an individual underneath here. Could be any sign that is lonely. You know, they're in despair. They're going through a midlife crisis. And they don't want you to to rise up. You know what I mean? So that's the way it goes, right? Um, yeah, they there's a lack of confidence. They, they don't want you to get the recognition. You know, they don't want you to be recognized for you for who you are. And that's a really sad situation, right? Um, they don't appreciate you for who you are. God, I don't like these kinds of messages. They don't want you to have harmony. They don't want you to have peace because they don't have peace. So beware. It's like somebody is feeling rejected and isolated by your newfound independence your newfound joy your newfound security and success within you because you're feeling so good about who you are they're like oh my god i've lost my power and, and with that strength reverse they're trying they're going to try to take their power back by bringing you down with them because they're so lonely you know they're gonna they're probably there could be some arguments there could be some fights there could be some disagreements that are caused because of this person's ego and i don't think it's you taurus i don't think it's you he hmm. they don't want this transformation to happen for you you're trying you are going through a transformation you're going through a rebirth and they're trying to hinder it and it and you know it is hindering it because you're allowing it you're you're they are at some point bringing you down with them they are because i see it there's like a lack of self-esteem a lack of self-worth and it's like it's like you are allowing it by engaging in some way you know it's like you're still holding on you haven't you're still holding on you haven't quite transitioned out of this space yet somebody is trying the wheel of fortune reverse is clinging to control and kind of like the death card too somebody is trying to re keep the control that they had because they see that they've lost it somebody is trying to control and you're going to have to make a clear decision as to what your next step is a clear a clear 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 decision is needed make the decision that is going to benefit you Perhaps it's time for you to go down a new path. You, these are both cards of decision. I mean, this is, this is, um, you have options. This is, you do, you have options. What are you going to do? I think that you are going to be faced with a decision this, this, well, this is from the now until the 15th within these next, with this next week or whatever it is as to where you, what are you going to do? What are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to let this past continue to hold you back? 
Are you going to let this, this person that is lonely and isolated and mean-spirited hold you back from your success? I mean, that's what this is. What advice do you have for Taurus? What, what advice do you have for Taurus? You do have to make a choice to stay or to go. I mean, are you going to totally walk away? Maybe you need to move. I don't know. Um, there could be a change in location that is needed. I'm not sure what this is, but... Oh my God, a change in location. This is what the, that card is, okay? This this is, this is... There could be a change. There could be a change in location. Your, your advice is to finish this. Step over that finish line. Okay? It's time for your new beginning. It's time for you to complete this lesson. A lesson learned. Okay? It's time for you to start a new chapter. Travel, move, whatever you gotta do. Maybe it's time for you to go. Right? I said, do you stay or do you go? And I said, the advice. Maybe it's time for this lesson to be learned. It's time for you to end this chapter. And start your new chapter. Completely. In a different location. Move. If you're dealing with somebody that is, is negative and, and fighting with you and won't let you prosper, they, see, they don't want you to be happy, then it's only bringing you backwards. It's not fair to you. You have to find the strength to master your emotions, and this person doesn't want you to. They don't want you to. So my advice is for you to... End, end it. I mean, this right here is the, the last card in the deck. Complete this cycle. Move. Because there's no compatibility where you're at right now. Let's clarify this devil card. Oh, God. There's a magnetic attraction here. There's some sort of... Oh, God. Codependency, perhaps. There could be some deception. What is this devil card? I'd like to know. Could be lust. Tempted to do something. Oh, jeez, I'm Carl. This is about receiving. Receiving something to equal it out, to equal, to balance. I feel like there's an opportunity for love. We have the Queen of Cups on the bottom. There's an opportunity if to to get what you deserve if you can if you can face this demon that you're dealing with. You know, you're gonna have to find the strength that's lacking to complete this cycle in your life and go down a new path. You're gonna have to find the confidence. Because once you go down this new path, you're going to find somebody you're, you're more compatible with. But there's a lack of confidence to step over this finish line and, and completely end this cycle. And I think that it's going to take a big, big move with this world card. A big move. <laughs> a big move to complete this cycle. So that you're not involved in a one-sided situation anymore. You You need to be... You need to move to a space where there's equality, you know, where there's where you're dealing with a person that's going to put in equal give and take. I honestly feel like you have somebody that is that you are going to need to face. You're going to have to cut the cord. You're going to have to cut the cut the chain. You're going to have to face this demon and complete this cycle and completely move. Move, 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 move. Like move. If you guys have already moved, there's somebody better suited for you on the other side. There is. This is a better suitor. 
more exciting, more passionate. But you have to take back your power. You have to use that sword to cut this cord with this devil energy. This is the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. It's an opportunity that is being given to you from above to, to cut. To cut. This is to cut. This is, this is to cut. To cut away what no longer serves you. Because there's a golden opportunity right around the corner. This is right around the corner, okay? But you have to find the strength that's lacking to completely walk away from this person that does not want you to be happy. Because around the corner there's somebody that is better suited for you that will put in equal amount of effort and bring peace and harmony to your life but you're going to have to face the demon there is a demon here there's a, some kind of person that uh, you are still tied to that, that need, you need to cut you need to cut for real You've worked really hard, and that golden opportunity is right there. But you have to complete it. You have to step over the finish line, use your sword, cut the cord, the last thread, you know, the little sliver. So that this offer of love can be accepted. So we're going to get you one of these. Uh, this is I feel like this is going to be a week. There's going to be some sort of um, I think there's going to be some sort of revelation, okay? There's going to be some sort of a fight or argument or bickering or something that is going to um push you in a new direction okay it is that's what i think i think that you are you it's going to help you to cut that cord do i see new love right now i think that in the future yes i do but i think it's after you cut this cord you're you're doing quite well for who you are you are you're doing really quite well and whoever it is that you're dealing with don't like it and now that's what needs to be cut out whoever this person is needs to go so that you can truly prosper and have get the love that you deserve because that you do deserve love and there's there's love to be had with somebody that you are better suited with but you can't do it until you cut that last thread. Uh, my thread's been cut. I don't know about you guys. First sight. Ooh, first light beginning a new cycle. A new day has begun in your life. You are at a beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wipe the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. The traveler faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle has begun. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown, yet the sacred traveler has observed on the extended journey that life goes in a cycle. We talked about cycles. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn so there can be new birth in the spring. The sun rises and the sun sets. It's the universal dance of the death and rebirth. There's a time to end and a time to begin. In your life, it's the close in your life, it's the close close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. So I'd start planning if I was you. So I think this it, next, this time is about you coming up with the next steps that you need to take to stop delaying your success, you know? Your success is delayed because you still got that, you got that thread, somebody that's still holding you back. 
And I think whoever this person is that's holding you back is there's going to be some sort of altercation. That's what I think. I think there's going to be some sort of something. And this person may not be who you think it is. That's really, you know what I mean? Like for me, it's not my ex. You know what I mean? But there's somebody. So just saying, you may not know who it is that's holding you back. So just there's something that's holding you back that needs to be dealt with so that you can have the, what get what you deserve. But you're going to have to let go of the past completely. Good luck.